Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Chronicles of Old Alvania. So, welcome to the planet of Old Alvania. We are a human or humanoid species, militarist and fanatic materialist. We have a distinguished admirality and functional architecture and we have also prosperous unification so we're playing after the release of federations i don't have the dlc federations but i'm enjoying the uh, the latest version of the game it's 2.6.2 and as you can see the Alvanian Confederation has grown. We have 13 planets and we are at war with the hegemony of Riga. Seems to be our eternal, our eternal thorn in the side. They're a hegemonic well, they're a dic military dictatorship, they're hegemonic imperialists. So here you can see we're doing an invasion of the Riga homeworld. I have quite a large army, but so does the defenders. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough. So you can see at the moment uh, their acceptance for achieving my war goals is at minus 91. And upon capturing their homeworld, uh, they've now come with a peace offers, peace offers, right? So, um, they're offering status quo. Um, I'm going to decline. I've got them on the ropes and they know it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to accept that. And you can see that the acceptance has come closer to zero. Um, so I basically need to capture a few more planets and then they should accept my war goals. Uh, you can also see that um, in the meantime, this thumb symbol has come up can go here. Uh, basically a resolution has been passed and the minor research sanctions which uh, I supported earlier so this has come up this has passed. So for me that's good news. Hi everyone so you can just see I've discovered gene tailoring. Yes. 
species. Uh, can we do that? Just choose that technology. So we can go into species here. And I think one of the first things we're going to do is take our main species. And we're going to say create template. And we'll take away decadent. that's been done once that's been done uh, that's going to take away the decadent negative trait which is good news uh, we'll have happier pops and once we've finished doing that for the Albanians which are basically humans I'm going to do the same thing for the Yamors they were basically a primitive species which I took over and I'm going to take away the weak trait uh, as soon as I'm able to. So that's going to also improve my population here. In the meantime we're going to continue building up our colonies. I find one of the first buildings it's best to build is a hollow theater. Uh, raises your amenities, makes the pops happy. And then once that's been built, you can start specializing into other types of buildings. Such as here, this planet, we've got more uh, energy production and administrative offices. Other planets you might want to start producing synthetic crystals. Uh, you can see that's quite important for up here. Uh, your more advanced buildings such as the energy grid we can improve that. Yeah the energy nexus that requires uh, one gas and two credits and some of your other more advanced buildings are going to require crystal or gas or the moats such as the alloy foundries if we come here um, yes the alloy mega forges they require they require one uh, one moat so it's always a good thing to have excess uh, resources uh, if you settle your species on planets that you're perhaps not exactly adjusted to you will get this message here uh, a new species many of the Albanian inhabitants of NAF Jalan have turned to genetic modification to help them cope with the planet's hostile environment. Basically, it means you get a new offshoot of your species. These ones are called Ultra Alvanians. So if you go to Nef Jalin, which is a world that I captured, you can see it's a desert world population. Here we go, Ultra Alvanians. And these Ultra Alvanians are self modified. They have a desert preference. Uh, they're talented, conservationist, but they're considered repugnant. 
So you can see they're quite different from the original branch of the species, which are intelligent, enduring, decadent, and continental preference. So they're very different. Um, of course, these people are going to be, or these pops are going to be more adapted to the planet. However, it um, is up to you whether you want to keep them. <laughs> you might not want them in your empire. Uh, I think I'll keep them. I'm going to get rid of the repugnant trait as soon as I can. I'm currently upgrading the main branch of my species. Uh, another possibility is here in Vilith. We have two ocean worlds. And Vilith Secundus as well. So if we go here, uh, another option would be to modify the people here so that they have a better habitability rating. You can see at the moment it's 85, it's quite high. Um, however, that's because I have certain technologies. Um, however, normally I think it's about 60 uh, in normal circumstances. Uh, quite often when I play Stellaris and I land uh, humans on a ocean world, that's one of the first species to emerge, the self-modified humans. They might be called um, human Claris or human Novus and they will adapt themselves to live on an ocean world. So that's also another option. But I just wanted to show you that. That comes up quite often in the game. And I think it's kind of cool. It shows you that uh, humanity would adapt itself if it was living on a alien world. In the meantime, I can see I've got a lot of food, which I'm going to sell. And make some money. And good thing about having lots of money is you can terraform planets. Um, I've terraformed quite a few already, about five or six. I'm terraforming one here. That's going to take a couple of years. And then I can start sending my colony ships out. At the moment I have a couple of planets which I can colonize and I'm going to do so soon. However, I have to be really careful with the Empire Sprawl. I've built quite a few um, of these administrative offices. Um, almost, yeah, here I've got two. Um, here I've got two. Here I've got one. So I think what I'm going to be doing is on each planet, once I've built a holotheater theater and maybe one or two other things, I'll start by putting an administrative office on each planet um, because we've really got to get this down. So if you recall earlier, this was very high. Um, technology cost, I think, was about plus 70%. Tradition adoption cost was over 100 and campaign cost was way over 100. So I'm getting it down. Um, it's not been that easy um, you don't have too much room to build but it's worthwhile it really takes away this big hit to your technology cost and your traditions and campaigns when you're waging wars so I can only recommend keeping an eye on the Empire Sprawl hi everyone <coughs> so we just got a message that the species Modification is complete. So if we go have a look, you can see that we now have <coughs> 258 modified Alvanians. We no longer have the decadent trait. And this is a good thing. This basically makes our stability higher. Uh, the pops are happier. We don't have any crime on this planet. And you can see that if you have a higher stability, your planets are going to benefit greatly as well. So I think now that we've done the main 
root of this species. Uh, let's modify these ultra Albanians. I might even rename them. But I'm defi definitely going to take away the repugnant trait. Uh, we don't need that. Um, the rest, I think that's fine actually. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, so let's let's do it. Okay, so I've just realised that repugnant requires two trait points. So I'm gonna, in the meantime, modify the Yamors. And we'll take away the weak trait. Now we'll apply it. Voila. So, rather soon we should have the, in 20 months in fact, we'll have the Yamors modified. So I really like the genetic modification of your species. I think that's cool. You can improve yourself and get better. And it's really worthwhile, especially if you have uh, some other species that you pick up when you take over planets. Uh, I picked up the Namarians, the Havariga, and another one which I exterminated. And some of these species uh, can be quite good. Some of them can be quite bad, um, quite annoying. The ones that I exterminated, they were in fact um, part of the part of the Riga species. They were like a um, subservient species, and they had a lot of negative traits, and only had like six of these pops. So I decided to. Uh, drive them out of my empire that was the um, that was the purge that was available so that's definitely something that you can do if you've got pops that you don't want and you've only got a few of them I would set them to displacement and you can get rid of them um, that's quite often preferable to keeping them in the empire, trying to integrate them into your empire and having a lot of problems with instability because they will create a lot of instability. I had that going on in on this planet. Uh, I had stability of about 17%, which is quite low, and I had very high uh, crime. So I found once I drove out those six pops uh, that, were um, that were the subservient um, subspecies the stability went up the crime went down and of course building a precinct house certainly uh, didn't hurt <laughs> so you can see now um, a new message has come up rising tensions on Naf Jalin tensions between the ultra Albanian population and the Um, the others are rising. Several attacks have been carried out. At least two bombings. So, we are now going to have problems on this planet. Um, we have, of course, not just Ultra Alvanians on this planet. We have other species. We have Havariga. We have uh, Alvanians and we have Ultra Alvanians. And the rulers are Havariga. So basically we're going to have a species conflict here if we're not careful. I have, however, uh, produced some armies and landed them. Uh, this will uh, reduce any of the uh, problems that you can get from having instability or a civil war on your planet. It's definitely worthwhile if you get one of these messages, instability, start producing few armies and land them on the planet this will help the uh, planetary defense forces to beat off any riots